Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and to another Dyson Era video. I feel like this is a video that a lot of people need. I feel like people's gonna see the title of this and be like, thank you so much, I really, really need help with this because there is no denying that the biggest issue that everyone has with the Dyson Era is with the curling barrels. These little bad boys and getting their curls to hold and last for as long as possible. So today we are going to be tackling that issue and I am going to be sharing that you may not be doing that could be helping your Dyson Airwrap curls last a lot longer. I actually just want to start off by saying that I am on day three Dyson Airwrap curls and I feel like these are looking pretty good it's definitely fallen a little bit on my crown but that is because at night i've been sleeping with my hair up so that's kind of been pulling it out but it has stayed so well down at the ends of my hair my Dyson Era course is coming out very soon. There is a link in the description to sign up to my mailing list, which is free if you want to be the first to hear about it and purchase it. So guys, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I am going to share with you, which I feel like I'm sharing this one as the first one because it is the one that bugs me the most. It is the one that in every TikTok, every Instagram reel, every YouTube show, I see girls doing and it really, really bugs me because I'm like, that is not what you're supposed to do. I'm gonna take a moment to calm down and I'm gonna explain to you. So, ever you have your hair wrapped around the barrel, it's in a curl and you are about to release the curl, I see so many people do this. And I'm like, that is not what you do. That is one of the biggest mistakes that so many people are doing. Look at the difference between not turning your Dyson Airwrap off and pulling out your curl than the difference between turning your Dyson Airwrap off and pulling out the curl. As you can see that whenever you're trying to release your Dyson Airwrap curl before your Airwrap is turned off, all that's happening is that curl is getting like swizzled up in like a tornado. And how do you expect a curl to sit nicely and neatly after you've just done that compared to whenever you turn it off and release it, it just sits so nicely and neatly and it stays tight. All you're doing whenever you're doing this and not turning your air up off before releasing your curl is you're just loosening the curl. You're, you're pulling half of the curl already out. You're not giving that curl any chance to survive past half an hour post hair. And I've actually spoke about this briefly before on my channel and I remember I got a few people comment going, what, you have to turn your Dyson Air Apple off before releasing the curl, but that is so time consuming. And I'm like, girl, you should not have been buying a Dyson Air App if time is your issue because getting to grips with the Dyson Air App requires a lot of time and effort. But once you get to grips with it, you can do it very quickly and easily. But I'm like, if you're watching my videos, you clearly haven't got to grips with it yet. So if you're gonna moan about time, you probably should not have bought the Dyson Air App. I'm sorry guys, I know you aren't used to me being this harsh over in this channel, but sometimes I feel like I wanna give you guys a little bit of tough love. Sometimes you can't be a little bit of tough love. And I also feel like turning it off doesn't waste any time it's literally a flick of a switch it's so simple and it is such a simple thing that you can start incorporating into whenever you're styling your hair with the Dyson era also whenever you go on Dyson's website and they have got any tutorials on how to do your hair there's not one tutorial that shows them releasing a curl before turning their air up off we're going directly to the source and I'm like if the source is saying it the source is correct they invented this bad boy I'm gonna listen to the people that invented it, not the people creating all those little TikToks and Instagram reels, okay? So, and I also think that in this case you should listen to me because I'm just relaying information directly from Dyson. And because I have found that for me personally, I have tried doing that, turn not turn it off before releasing the curl, and my curls last half the amount of time. It honestly makes such a massive difference, you wouldn't believe. Okay, right, now that I've given you a little bit of tough love, I'm gonna be nice now, I promise. And we're gonna move on to number two. So guys, with tip number two, we're gonna like take like a little bit of a step back even before you've started curling. And that is people are not using the correct pre-styling products. Now, I have said on this channel before that 
I think that there's a lot of people going out there buying so many products to try and get their curls to hold with the Dyson Hair app. And I've said before, I'm just gonna briefly cover this. Do your research first, understand your hair type. I'm always honest over on this channel where I say to you, these are the products that I think work for me. This is my hair type. They may or may not work for you. I'm just telling you what works for me. So I'm gonna talk you through a few of the products that I found has really helped me. So I just wanna make it really, really clear. I am not sponsored by any of these brands of these products that I am recommending. It's like, it's like my little bag of goodies with all my hair products in it. So the first thing is the shampoo and conditioner and I feel like this is a really, really simple one. Look at the condition of your hair and figure out your hair type and the condition of your hair and then you're gonna work out what shampoo and conditioner you should be using. Now I know another thing on top of that is then deciding right okay what brand of shampoo that I go for but I think first and foremost figure out your hair type and what you need for your hair. Like for example my hair is quite frizzy, it's quite coarse, it's thick, it's dry, it does break easily so I'm gonna use products that basically add a lot of nourishment into my hair to prevent it breaking, to stop it from drying out. Also because I have balayage and my hair is bleached. Now you wouldn't believe the difference that it makes whenever you use the correct shampoo and conditioner, the difference that makes whenever you come to styling your hair, regardless of whether it's with the Air app or it's with any other heat device. If you're not using the correct products to give your hair what it needs, then how do you expect the styles that you're creating to hold? So at the minute, I am using the Kenyan Vital Nutrition Shampoo. This nourishes dry and damaged hair, but it basically covers all the things that I just spoke about. This really targets that. Then I'm also using the Kenyan Keratin Smooth Mask. So this smooths and strengthens fizzy frizzy hair because this is a really really big thing so if you have frizzy hair and you are not using pre styling products to support the frizzy hair then your Dyson Airwrap curls are never going to last because what you're going to do is you're going to curl your hair and then you're going to realise it's really really frizzy so then you're going to start brushing it and then it's going to add more frizz and then you're going to try and smooth it out and then by doing that then you're going to actually pull out some of the curl so it's really, really important that you're using pre-styling products that's really gonna target those issues. I do not use a conditioner because I use this hair mask. I only wash my hair once a week. If I wash it more regularly, I would only use this once a week and use conditioner, but because I only wash it once a week, I use the mask every time I do it. Now, I also have recommended quite a lot over on this channel, the Philip Kingsley shampoo and conditioner that I also use. I will link all these products in the description if you wanna check them out. Um, they're also great. I kinda rotate between those and this now because it's good to switch it up because sometimes your hair can get used to what you're using and then not give you the benefits of what these products offer. Now I rave about this all the time, this Daily Damage Defense Leave-In Conditioner. I use this as my heat defense which you always want to use before using the Dyson Air app because it's still heat, it can still damage your hair. But again this just really nourishes my hair and actually what I do is whenever I want to maybe, let's say I've woken up and my hair's mostly curled but maybe the front bits need another little bit of a curl. This is what I will use to dampen my hair slightly because that is also an issue that some people have. They're trying to use the Dyson Air app whenever their hair is too dry. So this is what I use to dampen my hair as opposed to water because I'm adding lots of goodness and nourishment into my hair that's going to help my curls last longer. The other two products that I wanna talk about is a mousse and a dry shampoo. I don't use these all that much because I have really figured out a knack with all of these products, with the technique that I use with the Dyson Airwrap, that my curls do last a decent amount of time. However, if I'm like, right, I definitely need, need these to last, like I don't really want them to fall out much, then I will use dry shampoo and mousse. I sometimes use this LV L'Oreal Dreams Length Mousse. I really, really like it. It's really affordable. There is another mousse um, by Aveda that they actually use a lot in the Dyson Airwrap stores. I will link that in the description is amazing what you do is before you style your hair now you need your hair to be a little bit damp whenever you're putting this in you run this through your hair and a lot of people find that a mousse really really works for helping their curls stay in longer and um, because what it does is it just adds some nice grit to your hair so that curl just really really stays in place and you can use a dry shampoo again you can just spray that on your hair and it will add a little bit of grit this is also great for after whenever you um, curl your hair to spray in the root and to spray like just through the body of it to add a little bit more of volume use the products you need to use but don't overuse them i also just want to really quickly mention this kenyu root 
volumizer. I've been mentioning this a lot on my channel at the minute, but like I just, guys, you need to buy this. It is so, so good at adding volume to your hair. Oh, sorry guys, my foot is going completely dead. Also, I'm like looking all like glam on the top at this top and like on the bottom, I'm wearing, I'm wearing pajama bottoms. Oh guys, my leg is so dead. Okay, right, let's move on to point number three. We're gonna focus on the technique whenever you are curling your hair with the curling barrels. You may have heard me mention over in this channel before if you've watched any of my videos, but it is probably one of the most important points that I can mention. And that is whenever you're curling your hair, you want to create tension. Tension is key and what I mean by tension is whenever you have your hair wrapped around and you're creating a curl you want to make sure that that curls tight on your head and you're pulling away. That is going to help create tension and really tighten that curl round the barrel to really make it firm and to really get that curl to be really really tight because the tighter that you can get that curl the longer that curl is going to last. Here we go. Right, you're gonna bring it up to the top and then I always roll it and I'm pulling it away from my hair. Look, that is creating tension and really tightening that curl. And I'm just gonna hold it like that and as I'm holding it, pulling it away, again, like I said, it's just creating lots of tension in that curl. That is such a simple thing to do that I feel like no one does. No one does. Guys, we are at the end of the video, but before we go, I just wanna quickly mention one thing. Do not be disheartened if your curls are not holding. I wanna make it very, very clear, even though my curls last for a decent amount of time now with the Dyson Air app, because I've nailed all those things that I've just mentioned, they definitely don't last as long than if I was to curl my hair with a curling tongue or a hair straightener. Absolute, if I was to curl my hair with a curling tongue or hair straightener, I could get my curls to last a full week in really, really good nick. However, the reason why I very rarely use hair straighteners or curling tongs or anything like that on my hair, I still do occasionally. And whenever I do, I always make sure that I now go for products and devices that cause minimal damage to my hair. But guys, one of the main reasons why I switched to the Dyson Air app was because of my hair health. I wanted my hair to get back to being thicker, healthier, and in better condition. And that's exactly what the Dyson Air app has helped me do. And that is why I'm so obsessed about it. That is why I talk about it so much over in this challenge because it's really, really helped. But with that, there's a little bit of a sacrifice. It does just mean that because Dyson Air app is built to cause minimal damage to your hair, it does just mean that your curls are not gonna last as long because it's not sealing them in place and causing lots of damage like a lot of hair straighteners and a lot of curling tongs do out there. So you have to be willing to take that little bit of sacrifice. But like I said, if you follow those steps that I've just mentioned in this video, then hopefully it's gonna help your Dyson Airwrap curls last longer than they currently do. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm always open to hearing your own little tips and tricks on how you make your curls last longer, any products that you love. Please make sure that you comment below this video. I know that a lot of people start little conversations in the comment section and I absolutely love that. You're all here to help each other. And this is a community. Please share any little secrets that you have. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. My Dyson Air App course is coming out very soon. There is a link in the description to sign up to my mailing list, which is free if you want to be the first to hear about it and purchase it. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.